well bambinos from a fairly warm shea hilly we will be uh, counting down my favorite well least favorite the favorite bond actors uh, i should warn you now that i was going to do this as one huge video and then apart from the fact it's going to take me probably a week to load the bloody thing um probably easy if i just slap them in individual videos i'm having a lousy time trying to edit and it's doing my nothing as only it can with me i don't have a professional setup as you chaps can see i'm doing this in a house and association flat i've got a pipe i've got a smoking jacket I've got a cheap glass of red wine uh well a cheap bottle shy pig from Marlins. <laughs> i think it cost me i'm gonna say 398 it's australian and that's not why it's free night yeah i just you know and it just it just yeah um and you know my attempts to sort of give my room some kind of you know feel have backfired so if that hasn't put you off chaps uh, i'm going to start off with um you know bottom of the pile and that is of course uh the sixth james uh well number six off the because we're going from six to one. Now, it's never much good at maths and many other things, since why I'm doing this in a Portsmouth shirt, chokey jokey. Well, before we actually properly begin, my criteria for Bond, it seems, is nowadays sort of like, is it close to, are they close to the book? Uh, you know, do the, is there certain things they say they do, how they act, how they are in action scenes, not necessarily the love scenes, because anyone can do that, I suppose, with half a brain cell. Um, yeah. So, din -din 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 -din. I have to see if I can get that. That's the top of the pops music. I I only know chiefly for the highlight, uh, the eight, the compilation T O T P two, narrated by Steve White. Daniel Craig, unfortunately, chaps, is my least favourite Bond. I should say I'm going to ruffle a few feathers unintentionally and intentionally. That I had high hopes for Mr. Craig when he started his tenure, fourteen years ago and the crazy thing is is that he's been bond one year longer than sir roger moore and yet has done including no time to die of course two less films legalities are what they are things are what they are craig scripts you know it's just all what it is now i had high hopes i'd seen layer cake uh he seemed like a like timothy Dolan, sort of like an actor who had done many things varied things and was relatively speaking a good actor. That's not to say, you know, Brosnan and the rest aren't, uh, other than Dalton, but you think, you know, there are certain actors for Bond, like Brosnan and initially Connery, that had not done much that, you know, sort of raised them. Whereas Connery after Bond had done tremendous amounts of work, like The Untouchables and Humphrey Red October and so on and so forth, the man who would be king. Initially, I liked Casino Royale, if you've seen the videos that I've done previous, so I can't stop. Um, then over the years, it just plummeted. In Content of Solace, I never particularly cared for, from when I, wa I watched it in the cinema to now. Skyfall's, you know, is a masterpiece, really, for many reasons outside of Craig. And it's the best Craig's done as Bond. The humour, for once, felt you know it was being done by it and then Spectre undid all of it and then there's all the stuff in between it's the fact that you know he's now saying he might do another film well hopefully he's just joking because I mean 14 years at this moment we're averaging a Bond film every three to five years if not longer I mean I dread to think when the next Bond's going to come out after this one coronavirus or not I mean if it's 2026 I'll give up you know um you consider how many Bond films came out between, say, 62 and 89. Incredible. And that's not Craig's fault, obviously, but it's the fact that it, you hear rumours and like that Craig is thinking he might do another one, despite the fact he once said his slit his wrists at the thought of doing another Bond film, and that was years ago he said that. He seems to have more pull than most Bond actors have in the past. I bet, I wish to, I bet Timothy Dalton wishes he had that kind of pull. And... I never feel he is James Bond. Even when he says Bond, James Bond, there doesn't seem to be, oh, I want to say gravitas. It's just like a black hole. 
you know, I'm sure he's a decently, I always say this because I don't have the guts sometimes about my assertions up, but it, it just feels like he, you know, he might be a nice bloke in real life, but as James Bond, there's not the, the, the whole thing with Fesper, it feels false. Uh, Quantum of Solace, I, it just blanked for my memory, even though I watched it last week. There's, it's just another film of its type, with just a chap called James Bond in it. Again, Skyfall, as I say, you know, the, the jokes are once, Craig seems to be landing them. I mean, things in Control nowadays sound a bit cringeworthy, you know. Oh, that last hand almost killed me. Um, and I realised the comments I could get if anyone w <laughs> watches these. Well, by the time I get to George Lazenby. And Spectre, just as I said, in all avenues, behind top to bottom, just undid everything. Now, apparently No Time to Die is going to be the longest Bond film, I think. I forget how long it's going to be. I've heard, I think, 2 hours 40. It's obviously been pushed back to November now because of Corona, but then there's not really something I'm bothered about. I think previous Bond films, all the way back to at least World Is Not Enough, have come out November, December time in this country. I forget now when Tomorrow Never Dies and the West came out, usually in the summer, I suppose. But... It doesn't feel like he's a flag raver for the franchise, like Pierce Brosnan now is. And that's not to say Pierce Brosnan never has been, but it was Sir Roger Moore was kind of like the flag bearer for anything James Bond. And he was fairly self-critical of himself, or self-deprecating. And he liked Daniel Craig, although he didn't like Spectre because of the, I think he said, it, no, Quantum of Solace because of the flash cuts and I think something else about Spectre maybe. But you don't feel that with Craig. Maybe one day he will be, but and he doesn't. It just seems ill-fitting. And as I say, chaps, you know, I know that a great many people like Daniel Craig, especially on the uh, you know the various groups and that that I've seen and taken part in. But if we all had the same opinion, life would be pretty dull. That's why I was talking. I was little. It's a bit piffy. It's not my get out of jail card, but. Regrettably, Daniel Craig is number six. Of six. Brace yourselves, we're moving on up in the world.